morning, Folsom High. It's Tuesday, April 5th, and we're still on this blasted testing schedule. I'm Addison. And I'm Joseph. But testing is over now, just regular days ahead until the art show and then spring break. Woo! We have the news in a moment, but first, please ride to the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. Begin. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of, of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's the news. Congratulations to the cast and crew of The Alibis. The show was a huge success. If you missed it or just want to relive the magic, DVDs and video streaming of The Alibis are available for purchase at the FHS web store. Go to the FHS homepage and scroll down to the bottom left to find the web store. Get your copy of The Alibis today. Interactors! There will be a member meeting this Thursday, April 7th, after school in Mr. Yoder's room, A205. Make sure to attend and learn about upcoming events and opportunities. There will also be an officer Q&A session after the meeting for the 2022-2023 officer application. Remember to wear your Interact shirts to win a raffle ticket. Also, please check out our website, interact.folsom.weebly.com, to find the meeting minutes and sign-ups to all events. Text at FHSinter22 to 81010 for additional updates. The art show and full celebration are almost here. This Thursday and Friday, April 7th and 8th. If you've never experienced this before, it's an evening and a full day of exciting art, technology, and educational displays. This, the Thursday night event attracts hundreds of parents and community members. The Friday daytime event gives teachers an opportunity to take their classes on a walking tour of our school's hand-on program. Art displays will be in the library, the wellness center, and the AC slash IV buildings with 5,000 square feet of artworks. Also, the new CTE building near the portables will display metal and wood engineering and architecture projects. GPS and AP research projects will also be on display. That's coming up this Thursday night, April 7th from 5.30 to 8 p.m. and Friday, April 8th, periods 1 through 6. It's been a couple years since we last had an art show in full celebration. Let's get in the Wayback Machine and take a look at this report filed in 2019 to get a feel for what full celebration is like. Hello, Folsom High. I'm Daniel Kramer, here reporting at Full Celebration 2018. Let's go check out the fantastic science projects. Full Celebration is a day where art and engineering students get to show off what they've made. There's such a wide variety of things to see. Everything from virtual reality to electric guitars. The creations are endless. I even got to try out a few things before we asked Zeke Weil about his group's project. Okay, so here we have our shade structure that we built from Pulse and Zoo. The problem is that on the reptile exhibit, you can't see any of the reptiles because the glare is so terrible. Because the sun reflects on the background and the background reflects on the window. Our idea is we were going to build a completely enclosing shade structure for the reptiles. It's going to be sheeted with plywood and it's going to be flush with the window so that you'll be able to look inside and see the reptiles without having the light bother them or bother you. We've been working on this for a little over like two weeks, but the reason that our design isn't quite finished right now is because we are about two weeks into the time that we were allowed before we had a design that was approved. We've been working on this quite hard over the past few days. We were trying to just get it ready to have something to exhibit here. And I, I think this is a good representation because this is like the frame of what it's going to be. It's just, we just got to put plywood on it and roof it. That's all that needs to be done. And then you'll be able to see the reptiles at the zoo, which I bet you've never seen before because the glare is so bad. Overall, these projects are all very interesting. And if you didn't see them this time or are interested in learning something new, they're definitely worth checking out. Wow, gamers, that was some pretty cool science projects. I'm glad we could look at them together. Just you and me. Thank you for watching. I'm Daniel Kramer. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Dan Kramer from class of 2020, wherever you are. Be sure to check out the art and engineering projects this Friday and other news. 
Amnesty International is sponsoring a climate change essay competition open to all Folsom High students. There will be a reward of real cash prizes for the first, second, and third place winners, ranging from $100 to $400. The deadline for submission is this Friday, April 8th. More information can be found at amnestysacramental.org or email akshidabalasi at gmail.com for any questions. Sophomores, there is a scholarship now open through April 17th just for you. The 2022 Buck Scholar Award Fellowship application deadline is Sunday, April 17th. Each Buck Scholarship Fellow receives the following. Up to $6,000 in funding to cover educational support such as college and summer enrichment opportunities, college test prep courses, internships, college mission, and much more. One-on-one -on -one mentorship from a member of our Buck, Buck Scholar Alumni Network to support academic and personal growth. Access to a network of additional mentors, including over 250 professors in fields such as medicine, law, education, technology, and the arts. The requirements to apply include being a current high school sophomore, a complete application, your transcript, and two letters of recommendation by the application deadline. If you have any questions, email humphrey.manaska at buckscholars.org or call 209-401-0848. The FCUSD Student Forum will be at, held on Wednesday, April 20th at 4.30 p.m. It will be an avenue for students to discuss concerns and feedback for the distinct districts on topics including dress code, curriculum, and teacher accountability. The Zoom link can be found on the SAB page on the FCUSD website. See Mr. Castro in D109 for more information or email him at ccastro at fcusd.org. The Sadie Hawkins dance is coming up on April 22nd, the Friday after spring break. If you have an ASB card, tickets are free. For non-ASB, tickets are $10 for FHS students and $15 for guests. Guest bids are now available in the office. Ticket prices will go up Friday, April 22nd to $20. So please get your tickets now at student accounts. You will need a current student ID to buy tickets and bring your ID and have your ASB card to enter the dance for free. Also, Senior Ball is happening Saturday, May 7th, and tickets are now on sale at student accounts. Through this Friday, tickets are $75 for F FHS students and $85 for guests. Guest bids are available in the office. Tickets go up $10 the week after spring break, and then go up again to $95 for FHS students and $105 for guests the week before the dance. So get your tickets at student accounts now for at their lowest price. Remember, you must show a current student ID to purchase tickets at student accounts. Sober Grad Night tickets are now on sale. Sober Grad Night has top-notch entertainment, great food, exciting prizes, including cash. There's also a fun casino and lots of interactive games. This is made possible because of the continuing support of our community members and businesses. The event takes place immediately following the graduation ceremonies. Seniors, you can purchase tickets online at FolsomSGN.com. For more Sober Grad Night information, FolsomSGN.com or email them at FolsomHighSGN at gmail.com. In sports, boys varsity golf plays Oak Ridge and varsity boys tennis and girls golf are way at Whitney. Baseball is here at home against Whitney today, starting at 4 p.m. and co-ed unified soccer and track are also here at home against Whitney. See FolsomAthletics.com for game times and details. Good luck, Bulldogs. Sideline Cheerleading for next year is hosting a parent and athlete information meeting tomorrow evening, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. in the Multi. Please come tomorrow and bring your parents or guardians if you are interested in joining cheer for next year. For more information, please contact Coach Victoria at HS205 or email vwilmer at susd.org. And that's the news for today. We, will, we don't produce a show tomorrow, but we'll be back Thursday at pause. Until then, let's make it a great day to be a Bulldog.